let's have a look at canvas groups and their main uses and benefits. I've got a little scene here where I can click to go to level select and I can click back and then click to go to a, a settings menu and click back. Don't know if you'll have ever had a similar scenario, but it comes up for me a fair amount where if I click something, I want to block off the uh, all interactions for that screen while I'm transitioning to the next one. So I don't want to be able to do something like this where I've clicked the settings button whilst going to this one because you might get undefined behavior, something like that. Okay, so that's one of the easy things that you can do with canvas groups. If I just select the um, scroll object, which is what we've been clicking on there, add a canvas group. <clears throat> and the option that we're going to want to stop all input is this blocks raycast. Every time you click on your UI, your mouse sends a, a raycast to it and it decides whether that button is clicked on or not. So if you were to, we could still use it now, but if we were to untick blocks raycasts, This, um, we won't be able to click on that UI anymore. So you can have this canvas group component added to your um, scroll object in this case all the time or whatever UI you have. And when a button is clicked as part of the callback for that, you can grab this, turn off the blocks raycast. Uh, then when the UI comes back into a state where you want to be able to click it again, your script will turn that back on. Um, Another thing that you can do in a, in a similar sort of vein uh, in this canvas group is you can untick interactables, which turns all those buttons off, but then it also changes the look of things based on the um, interactable state of your buttons. So that may be something you want to do or may not be. And then something completely different, which you may be able to use for uh, transitioning between uh, scenes or something like that, is the alpha. So you can alpha out an entire group of UI objects rather than having to grab every button, every image and manually alpha them all down at the same time. You can just uh, throw a canvas group on whatever level you want. You can have multiple canvas groups and just tween the alpha down. So that could be a nice transition between, between UI if you wanted. So they're the two main uses for canvas groups. Uh, I find them quite handy to do this. It can save a lot of time and a lot of fiddly effort. Rather than having to go to every single element and turn them off or alpha them down, um, you've got a nice component there that can do it more or less for free. Hope you've enjoyed that. Catch you next time.